reviews, how-tos, and builds. He is the Redneck Computer Geek on YouTube. So I'm here with my dad's LT2000 with the newer style hood that has a different wiring harness than the old LTs did. I always thought everybody was just being whiny when they were talking about this type of switch. The uh, round type. So I see this type show up on the main mud mower group a lot and I always thought everybody was just being whiny about them. Until I actually tore into my dad's in order to put a push button set up in it and realized there's a lot more to the wiring harness in these newer LTs than there was in the old ones. So I'm going to go over it today how to make a push button system that leaves your lights actually intact and your charging system continues to work. Let's get started. Um, the first thing that you're going to notice is I've got a whole skew of stuff up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the hood, I'm going to get some lighting going on, and then we're going to discuss a couple of different options here. Alright, so on the newer LT series, the solenoid is actually right here, and you can actually pull the plug out through into this area. So I'm going to do my best to give you color codes on the wiring that you're going to need for this. Now, your first scenario that you're going to need to deal with is going to be where your power lead is. Now, on your solenoid, on this setup here, you're going to have power coming from the battery to this pole. This pole here is going to be what actually connects to your starter. This pole is going to connect to a ground, whether you have to wire one or whether you splice into the harness. Now what's going to change is this is going to be what hooks up to your push button. What you're going to do is you're going to take a lead off of the battery side of your solenoid and you can tell which one that is because when the machine is off it will always have power. You're going to wire that to one side. You're going to wire the other side back to this pin on your solenoid. And what that does is when you push this button it makes the loop through putting power to this grounding out through this and triggering your solenoid to start your starter. So that's the first part of the harness you're going to have to change. And that pretty much doesn't have anything to do with the actual ignition switch itself as far as wiring that. You're literally just making a lead from here to here and from here to this and make sure this side is grounded. So that's that side. Now the next part is going to be actually shutting the machine off. Now, on the other side of the machine, you're going to have the six prong plug. And at this point, I'm going to grab the camera and pull it over. So, if your machine has a Briggs engine in it, it's going to have this six prong plug. Now, when you break down this plug, you have kill wire. This is the electric solenoid in your carb. There's plenty of ways to go and kill that thing off. If for some reason your machine doesn't start after this mod, you need to go and put power to this lead when the machine is running. This is your light, and this red wire is your charging. So this is what charges your battery. This is what runs your headlights. Now, as we can see, the black kill wire lines up on this side. Except for when it comes out of here, it's no longer black. It's actually black with a white line. So, you're going to take this, and one of these actually goes to the clutch and brake safety switch. And if you follow that all the way across, you can cut it off and have enough lead to go from here up through to a switch on the dash, which is right here on mine. Now, as you'll notice, this is a regular flip switch. Now, I like these because of the fact that when it's down like this, no matter what, if one of my kids punches this, it will not start. So they have to be smart enough to know to toggle this before it'll start. 
So you can do that with this type of switch, and you can do that with this type of switch. Except for when you use this kind of setup, off is actually on and on is actually off. So if you're doing this for an adult setup, then a momentary switch of this nature is what you would actually use. This is what's on the Lawn Tractor Go-Kart build. If you're looking to wire an opposed twin, there's a workup on that one. So there we go. Once you get to that point, all you do is just toggle it into the on position and push a button. And it's that simple. So remember that if you have one with the solenoid in it, that you have to make sure there's power going to the solenoid when it's running. Have a good day.